bones and name them bound. Two, duplicate the arm. Click modify, search and replace names. Change the word bound to IK. Three. Duplicate the bound arm again. Change the word bound to FK. Now we've got three arms on top of each other. Four. Select the IK bicep. Select the FK bicep. Then select the bound bicep. Under constrain, click the orient box. Turn off maintain offset and press apply. Do this on the elbow and wrist. Five. Create an FK IK switch. Call it left hand FK IK control. In the channel box, click edit. Add a tribute. Call it FK. Default 1, minimum 0, maximum 1. Press add. Call the next IK. Minimum 0, maximum 1, default 0. Press add. Let's clean up the rest. Now go to Windows, Animation Editors, <coughs> Expression Editor. Paste in the code. Find that in the description. Test it. 6. Select your switch. Go to Windows, General Editors, Connection Editor. Select the first Orient Constraint. Click Reload Right. Select Show non keyable if it's messy. Can it be FK to FK? Can it be IK to IK? Do this for all of them. 7. Delete the IK hand bone. Go to Skeleton, Create IK Handle. Click Single Chain Solver. Select the first bone, hold Control and select the last bone. Ta-da! Eight. Delete the FK hand bone. Duplicate the bound wrist. Delete the bound hand joint. Rename the new bound wrist to hand. Rename the bound hand to hand. Nine. Create an elbow twist control. Line it up with the elbow joint. Call it something. Click create. Curve tool. Then CV curve tool box. Pick linear. Hold V then click on your elbow. Then while holding V, click on your control. Right click and go to control vertex. Select one of them. Go to deform, then cluster. Do it again for the bottom one. Call it something. Parent the elbow cluster to the elbow bound joint. Parent the other cluster to the elbow control. Ten. Select your line. Go to edit. Channel control. Find the word template. Move it to the left. Tidy up and turn it on. Now you'll never lose track of your elbow control. Eleven. Test it. Nice one. Look at you learning complex things. Now go tackle the other arm. Is there something in Maya that you want to learn? Leave a comment down below. For more pixie tips, don't forget to subscribe.